What is up survivors, this is Harv with Harsh Corner. For today's taming video, we're going to talk about the Oviraptor. Oviraptor, the little guy with the funny looking thing on his head that wanders around on the beaches. You've probably seen this guy at a couple places. Usually wandering around on the beach, just kind of prancing around and sometimes mistaken for Dilophosaurus because they tend to be around the same size. But uh, yeah, they're usually skittish. They're kind of a passive guy. They just kind of hang out and do their own thing. But they do have an interesting ability. Taming them is also a little bit different. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to talk about the Oviraptor in today's taming video. Um, so stick around. We're going to talk about the abilities this guy has, where to find him and how to tame him, what it eats. So stick around and uh, let's get to it. Now, Ovi Raptors are very skittish, so they will run from you if you get a whiff of them also, if they get a whiff of you, and they're also going to run if you get close to them. Um, so, and, I, and obviously, if we shoot them, they're a passive flea. So what we want to do is actually bola this guy and then knock him out like normal. All right, so we got him bolded. We're just going to use Trank Darts. These guys don't have a lot of health, so highly recommended to use Trank Darts. And he's already out, so he's probably low level. Yeah, level 23. So the interesting thing about these guys is this Torpor. You can see the Torpor going down a little fast, so you want to bring Narcotics with you as well. But they're tamed with eggs. They eat eggs. The bigger the egg is, the better it is. But you can feed him something as little as Dodo eggs, and it's going to take a long time to tame them. Or we can feed him something as big as a Bronto or a Giga Egg, and it'll be like one egg to tame these guys. I would highly recommend finding a low level one of these um, because a high level, they, the ability is going to be the same regardless and taming a lower level is going to be easy and require less eggs. So what we're going to do is just fill it up with some dodo eggs and you can see the dodo eggs are going up in, in a few percent, but and it looks like it's going to take a little while. It's only about 2% per dodo egg. Taming effectiveness, taming efficiency doesn't matter too much with these guys because, again, there's only one real specific ability that these guys have, and it doesn't necessarily matter. So I would recommend finding a low-level Ovi Raptor. It's going to help you out. You're not going to need as many eggs to tame it. And uh, you can feed it something simple like Dodo eggs. Dodo eggs are a simple, simple way to tame this guy. So we're going to wait for this dude to tame up, and we'll be right back. All right, we got a tamed Ovi Raptor. We're going to put him on... Passive, these guys aren't fighters. They're not good for fighting, really. Um, and their stats don't particularly matter very much. And they will eat just meat after they're tamed. So you don't actually need to uh, sit there and keep feeding them eggs for forever. But we're going to show you what this guy does specifically here in just a second. Come on, dude. Let's go. So what we have here is the Avi Raptor and three dodos. They're tamed dodos, and there's male and females in here. We got a male, female, and another female. So. Um, so normal females that lay eggs will predominantly just lay eggs randomly. After a certain amount of time, the females will lay eggs uh, regardless. Not fertilized eggs, just regular eggs. Now, having a mate pair, uh, mate boosted pair of creatures, whatever tame it is that lays eggs, will increase the chances of that even more. Now, to get an even better score on that, a better likelihood of getting those eggs, we use oviraptors. So what we do is we get some stone first. All right, so we got this guy maxed his weight out on stone so that he's completely weighed down. Um, now, you can use anything that doesn't spoil and anything that it won't eat. So wood, stone, metal, whatever you got laying around, whatever's easier for you to grab. You want to grab it and weight him down. The reason why you want to weight it down is because you don't actually want him to move. Now, there's another option to this, and I'll talk about that, but this is the bare bones way to do it. Um, what you want to do is actually just once he is completely weighed down, make sure that he's weighted down. You want to enable wandering. Now, when you enable wandering, that little egg icon will start popping. And anything that is in effect of, uh, anything that's in range of the effect that the Ovi Raptor gives out will also have that egg blinking on it. What that means is that the, it increases the chances of those animals to lay actual eggs, not fertilized eggs, but normal eggs. Now, this is pretty much mandatory if you're trying to do a kibble farm for whatever to, sort of kibble you're trying to do, or if you're trying to make all the kibbles and have your own little farm and have all the different critters there and, and get all the different eggs for them. This is, would be how you do it. Now, this is stackable with up to three oviraptors, so you could have two more oviraptors all side by side here, weighted down, and then set to enable wandering, and it'll increase the chances of the creatures laying actual eggs. This is probably the best way. So basically, if you're trying to get eggs, you want to 
purse you want to have a mate boosted critters around you want to have as many females obviously that increases your chances but then having three avi raptors on top of that is the way to go now if you don't want to weight them down there's a couple different options one is to like just build a foundation with a with you know with just a small box lead it in there close the door so it can't get out just put it on wander inside the box and let it run around uh, that'll work. Uh, the other option would be to get inside of a, like a wooden cage and close the door and uh, let it wander inside of there so it can't get out. That's an option as well. But honestly, weighting them down is just as easy and I don't need to really do anything. Uh, he can just kind of sit here and chill. Now, if you're running certain mods, like if you're running S+, Plus, you can use like the hitching post and hitch them up to them. There's a lot of different mods that offer things that you can craft to put on the creature's inventory, like a costume or something like that, to actually weight it down so it doesn't move. Um, but this is incredibly beneficial for for getting all of those eggs. Yeah, we already got a we already got an egg right here. Yep, yeah, I already got one. That's pretty quick. But yeah, so that's this is definitely the way to go as far as getting eggs, as far as making that kibble goes. Um, this is the best way to do it. Aviraptors. And again, I would highly recommend getting low level Aviraptors. You don't need high level Aviraptors because higher level Aviraptors are going to need bigger eggs or even or smaller eggs, but take a lot longer time to hatch or to tame. And you don't necessarily need high level Aviraptors for this. This ability is completely unrelated to their stats, their level or anything, and they don't really offer anything else. So this is probably the best thing to use them for. Yeah, so the offer out there, and obviously you get these and mate boost these, so I could have a male and two females here, and they could all be on set on a neighbor wandering, and they could be creating eggs from avi raptors and also you know producing eggs for whatever else. But uh, this is definitely the way to go to make kibble farms. Um, if you watched our video a long time ago about how to make kibble, um, this is kind of this could be a key essential to that is having a couple avi raptors by whatever creatures that you're trying to get eggs from. Um, and that's really the kind of the, the gist of the Avi Raptor. He's not super, uh, he's not super you know, great at anything else. He's not a fighter. He's not, you can't ride on him. He can't carry a whole lot. Um, this is pretty much the only, the only purpose of the Avi Raptor, but it is a big deal. Um, especially when we're talking about making some of the bigger kibbles where you need, you know, things like, uh, Brontos or Gigas or T-Rexes or Allosaurs or Therizinos when you need those bigger eggs and you need them in mass quantity. This is definitely a way to go um and you know obviously we've only been here a minute or two and we haven't really seen anything yet but this does pick up and does ramp up and again having two more of these avi raptors will speed that process up a bit um but yeah that's the avi raptor that's what he does he uh makes things lay eggs pretty uh pretty simple pretty simple dude weird looking though he's a little weird looking with this little thing on his head it's a little strange it's a little a little strange so that's it guys, that's the Avi Raptor and how he works, where to find him, little tips and tricks that I use with these guys. You'll find in the Ark universe that there's a lot of these small little critters um, that are kind of off the wall and left field a little bit that have unique abilities that um, get overlooked a lot. But Avi Raptors are definitely important for that farming kibble sort of uh, base if that's what you're trying to go after, um, they're crucial to that. But that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, feel free to throw something in the comments, like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so you can see when the next videos are coming out. Also, follow me here. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. We Twitch live stream Friday and Saturdays at 9 p.m. Eastern, which means we will be streaming tonight. And I uh, hope to see you guys there. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And until next time.